Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of the 980 Nightmare Hunt, which is Fear, which translated as Fogoth. Now, I'm, as you can see, this is the weapons I'm going to be using in the loadout. Uh, basically, the, the most difficult part of this nightmare is there is a, a modifier on called Togetherness, which basically means your health regeneration is slowed down considerably if you're not near a teammate making this solo run quite difficult so rifts are going to be with friend so are grenades i've got as you've seen in, in in the setup i've got all the supreme mods on all three of the supreme mods so the first real piece of advice i'm going to give you about this run is these rooms can change so as you can i've got three acolytes i've took them down there's a wizard took that down pretty easily as well and we've got a nightmare thrall you could come in here and have a barrier champion. You could come in here and you could have an unstoppable. Now, may I add, I only ever got... I, I, I tested this a few times. And a couple of times the runs were exactly the same. Once out of all the testing, I had an unstoppable here. So don't just run in and expect this room to be exactly like this. But you'll always have a nightmare to take care of. And as we've learnt by now, nightmares are how you progress to the next stage of this. So, be very careful with your health because it won't regenerate on its own. I've got 80 uh, recovery, which means my rift, I think, regenerates every 40 seconds or 45 seconds, something like that. So, in this room, this is your first real kind of tester because we're at the doorway, as you can see. I've, put, I've, I've charged a grenade and I've thrown it to take care of one of the nightmares. You should have two here. We've got the knight which is actually quite easy just to really, really simply break his shield and then take the rest of his health down using uh, Ariana. Grenades are going to be really helpful, which is why we're using what we're using. We are using uh, the exotic gauntlets, which the name has escaped me, even though I use them quite a bit. <laughs> but they they help with your grenade recharge. So, so don't just run in headstrong be careful with, with your positioning. Now, if you watch my positioning in each of these rooms, it it never changed. So, in the first room, I stayed at the door until I was I was convinced it was just the nightmare that was left. Here, I come up here once I've took out those first acolytes. I do not engage with the barrier. As you can see, I'm taking a little bit of splash damage. Nothing major. So, what I've decided to do is come up here and take down... Take down... Uh, Take down the, the nightmares from up here. Uh, my rift's still good. I can go up here. I won't regenerate very quickly unless I'm in a rift. As you can see, when I came out of the rift, I stopped regenerating my health. Now, this room's it's a little bit tricky. You know, if you do it the way I'm doing it, you should be fine. But as you can see, there's constant damage coming in. The, the, the nightmare throws are probably... They're the most annoying, especially for taking down with the Arianas. Second piece of advice I'm going to give you about the Nightmares. Normally, what I would say is, once you take a, take a Nightmare down, it will drop an orb. Go and get the orb and it will two tap the next, two or three tap the next Nightmare. In this area, in this one, you, with this modifier, you kind of have to make sure you've took all the other adds down because... No, you know, normal ads, the, these acolytes, as you can see, I panicked a little bit here because I did not know there was a wizard there. Like I said, that's that's why that's why we do these runs. That's why we get the strategies out so you so I can tell you guys what to prepare yourself for. Just don't run in. Assess every area. Even though you've watched this video, assess every area because these areas could change. Normally I get a barrier night here. That was the first time I had a wizard. So, so in, in, in the very first area when you come in, you can have an unstoppable, you can have an uh, arc shielded knight, you can have a barrier, and you can have a wizard, but it's very unlikely you're going to get an unstoppable. More likely you're going to get one of the other three. Second area, barrier champion or knight is what you're going to get. In that area, and then obviously when you go to the area where we went up the stairs, it's nearly always the same. I've never had an unstoppable. I've never had any. I've had a wizard there instead of that arc shielded knight, but it's always a barrier. So when you come here, this area never changes. You're going to have this wizard here. 
There's a barrier champion that's going to spawn in. We don't have to worry about the. We are not going to be taking any of the champions down. As you can see, I'm getting sniped here. I've got Void Battery on. And, and what Void Battery does is it's nothing like last season's Arc Battery. Void Battery this time basically gives you an overshield as you're using an ability. So whilst you're charging a grenade or throwing a grenade, you'll get an Arc ability. When we're in the overshield, when we're in the, the rift, popping a rift, we'll get an overshield. So what I do when I come here, take that wizard first and I throw a grenade at the, just just to the left of where we are now to take out the bunch of ads that are just around that corner. Then I focus on this, this ogre. Now we're, we're very close to getting to the boss. The boss is where we're going to spend most of our time because arc damage is, uh, sorry, void damage is, you know, is, is increased. So the ogre, Fogoth, he's going to do more damage to us. Now... Because we're not getting my health back, we are kind of tiptoeing through this area because there's ads hiding almost behind every corner. So I I follow this route all the time. You see the nightmare, nightmare. This nightmare, I'm I'm, I'm very kind of not wanting to throw it, uh, throw the grenade until I know exactly where the nightmare is, because where grenades are going to be what we use quite a bit against the nightmare. So that top of the stairs is what my kind of next kind of place i'm gonna use as a base of operations i'm tr not gonna go past here until i know i've cleared the immediate enemies because as you can see when you get hit at hearts and and you don't regenerate your health back so take out those ads there that that gives a bit of breathing space now it's just it's just us and and the nightmare so these thrall are really kind of strange because we, we can finish them now, but when they go to do their kind of claw attack, their melee, it changes the position of their crit, obviously because they're moving, but it seems like up close, you don't expect Arianas to be very good up close, but it's it's really bad up close, especially for those kind of ads that are in, you know, perpetual motion. So we've got some acolytes up top, we've got another two nightmares to take care of. One is in this area, and one isn't. One is over by the doorway to Fogoth. I'm trying to find out where the nightmare is. Because the thing about these nightmares is they do do a lot of hiding. I found the nightmares hide quite a bit. Now, as I've said, as I was starting to say before, my, my usual thing would be take out a nightmare, get the orb that it drops, there's the nightmare there. He's going to hide behind this pillow and we're going to put a grenade on him. And, and, and the grenade does so much damage now this orb that we pick up allows us to act, really put some damage on on nightmare but on nightmare ads but because these ads they do so much damage you don't get your health back it's not worth pushing to get the orb to take a second nightmare it's just not worth it so this is where the last nightmare as you can see i've tossed a grenade on him and and he's gone we do not have to take this barrier champion what we're going to do is we're going to bypass him by jumping right over here onto this kind of balcony and then straight into Fogoth. And then once we get into Fogoth, I'm going to show exactly where I go. I think most people will be aware of the rough area that I'm going to attack from. But there is a cheese spot up here. And it's to the left. It's up to the left. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to go right here. This is perfect cover. This part here with, the, with like the vase, the big vase, it's perfect cover from Fogoth. Right now, what we're gonna do is just keep keep your weapon down and watch watch for the ads appearing. There is no if you stand here, you know, on nine eighties, there really isn't a lot of stand here. Uh, we're gonna put put a rift that gives us over shield and gives us health regeneration. Now we're gonna jump. We're gonna put that there and just finish these ads in the rift. Now, everything happened a bit hot and heavy when we first come in here, right? And that is because we came up, the ads came in straight away, right? So you can see we're in trouble. But luckily, we picked up the orb, which allowed me to absolutely destroy the ad. So all, all I'm going to do now is kind of wait to get my health back a little bit or get my rift. So let me explain what we're going to do. Now, some people may, may be looking at what just happened there and be thinking, oh man, that doesn't look, that looks like you can die pretty easily there, right? You can die pretty easily in every part of this. 
So I'm going to throw my super. I threw it over because I the first couple of times I've done this, I actually missed a couple of supers from his positioning. So we're going to charge, throw, and you'll see the more damage it does. See, I'm almost very close to a full grenade straight away, and then I get the full grenade, right? So the plan is we're going to wait for these ads up here. We, we come up and we're waiting for the ads, right? We've got where Rift, where Rift is going to allow us to stay in the fight a little bit longer than we normally would be able to because we're not getting my health back. Rift down, get an overshield, and get constant, uh, constant health regeneration. Now, we've picked up an orb, but unfortunately, the Nightmare ran away. So what you've got coming up here is you've got Nightmare bosses, you've got uh, these arc shielded knights and normal throttle. There are for every time you're going to have two nightmares, two arc shielded knights, and then your nightmares. Now, this probably because of my weapon choices, and I, I was more interested in just doing this repeatably. That's what I was interested in was doing this in a way where other people could come in and repeat it. It wasn't about trying to do it fast because I I don't know about you guys, but I never respect a run where I see the person who's doing the run half dead for nearly the whole run. For me, that's not, that is a luck run, you know, that because at any given time, one shot would have killed them. There are going to be times during runs like these where you do actually stay, you know, you do get hit quite a bit. Now, as you can see, because arc damage is so, uh, uh, void damage, sorry, is so so strong we are relying on our grenades now we've had a couple of him uh, Fogoth with a couple of grenades and a super right and we've took over half his health down that is kind of what you're relying on the void the exotic gauntlets which are still escaping me i cannot remember what they're called my brain does that sometimes the name of it is on on the tip of my tongue the whole time and then i completely lose <laughs> the name of it but they allow us to get our our grenades back. Now, they do allow us to get our grenades back quickly, but it's it's not predictable because it you know they decide what the controverse holds. I knew it would come back to me. The the controverse holds it depends it's, it's just luck of the draw how much grenade energy you get back. Now what I would suggest, and you might be saying I'm I'm waiting to charge my grenades, I'm waiting to throw them. You'll hear the spawn in uh, audio cue for the ads. What I try and do, you can see there on the bottom of the right hand side, I try and take down some of the, the thrall. So I'm, I'm, I'm just dealing with bigger ads. Right? We'll get a grenade down, put that down, get this, get them to chase us, run through it. Now, because of the, the way that, the way that we'll put a we'll rift down, because of the way that, uh, the twenty one percent delirium works. We'll want if we can get one or two thrall kilt before we go after an ad, it increases the damage, right? So just don't stand unless you're in a rift. Do not stand and go to head to head with any of the ads. You need to be in a rift or have a wall up or a tether would be great as well. You know, a tether would be good. There are multiple ways to do this. I tr I chose to use the warlock. Simply, I think it's pretty straightforward because the grenades were so strong, and the rift, because you're not getting, you're not regenerating health. It's not that I always get asked this if I do a run on one character. It's always people always ask, can this be done on another character? And it's like, yes, of course it can be done on another character, but I done it on this because this is the simplest character to do it on because it has an ability that kind of works directly against a different ability so we're going to put a grenade and then we're going to do the whole kind of try and get into a good position and you've really got to be careful when you're throwing your super so as you see i'm throwing it just above just enough that it'll go over the top of that platform and track fogoth right so it, like you can see there the controversy it's ambiguous how much you'll get back. It's like the gauntlets decide themselves. But 
As I say, I'm not trying to attack too heavily. Why why bother? You know, there's no point in pushing too to the difference between being aggressive as a solo player when you're playing solo is aggressiveness can get you killed. You know, being uh, assertive is different from aggressiveness. Having having a strategy and then, you know, being a bit more aggressive within the parameters of your strategy, that's fully acceptable. But I don't like to just push for the sake of trying to kill something a little bit quicker. It's all about strategy. Pushing hard when there's a strategy, there's nothing wrong with that. If you know where you're going, you've got it all worked out, nothing wrong with that. So now that the ads have come back up, now you might have noticed I was switching weapons and trying to get kills with different stuff. That is to save, I'm trying to save heavy because of the, because of the, the knights. Now what, what's kind of going to happen, you see, I'll break this shield and we'll try and take the solar. That's the nightmare shielded ads. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to keep my, my arc uh, ammunition for the knights because there will come a point where you'll stop spawning nightmares. You, you possibly are going to stop spawning nightmares, and you're, but you're going to keep getting knights. So you need to make sure you've got... Because we've got match game on, so you need to make sure you've got enough... You've got enough uh, arc ammunition to keep taking down their shields. Because it's nothing worse than actually still having arc enemies appearing, but you've got no arc ammunition. So, but as you can see, I'm literally just trying to break their shield and then finish them with the Ariana. Hopefully, trying to get more heavy ammo, but not wasting any more than I have to. So now, so just a quick recap, although I don't think anybody's going to really need it. I'm basically doing the damage on Fogoth with grenades. And why I'm able to do that, because I think it's, it's a Nightmare Crusher. It's, the, I, I, it's definitely the void. I say definitely. I'm 99% I'm sure off the top of my head that it's the void Nightmare mod that increases grenade damage against Nightmare bosses. And then there's another one where uh, you do more that your super does more damage and i think that's the arc one and then the solar one as you break the night the nightmare shields faster they're all great for this but you, you probably have noticed i've never had a great deal of nightmare shields and i think it's because i didn't do too much damage too quickly very organic damage if you're coming in with a with a fire team then of course it's it's slightly different if you're coming in with a fire team you're not really bored about that because it, it's not just you you know, I had an argument with somebody on, on comments or on a different platform uh, about stuff like this. And, and, and I argued that this isn't easy. These things aren't easy. Although you tried to tell me that 980 Nightmare Hunts are the easiest thing. They're, they're not. They're really not. And that when, you get, when you get these kind of modifiers, it just enhances the difficulty because you have to now play a certain way because you're, you're not getting... You're not getting any any health regeneration, so obviously you're going to have to play a certain way. So we are using the controverse holds ability. You see, you can see as long as Fogoth is in in the the, the grenade, he'll take a decent sized amount of damage. Now, I'm pretty confident I am going to kill him pretty quickly. So now I'm just like, let's just make sure all the enemies are dead. I've got my super. But I didn't need it. And there you go, guys. Keep charging your grenades. Keep hitting with the grenades. Stay out the way of your shots up on top of that platform and watch for the spawns. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm sure you'll get this. And I'll see you in the next video.